High Dynamic Range, or HDR Exposure Merge, lets you combine two or more photos of the same scene that were taken with different exposure settings. For high contrast scenes, such as sunsets or other backlit situations, it means that you can pull the perfect exposure for the foreground, midground, and background into one image. Taking photos for HDR processing takes a little bit of planning, but the results are worth it. In this example, I have three raw images taken of a city skyline at night while using a tripod, and I will be combining them into a single image that captures the most dynamic components of each exposure. First, launch PaintShop Pro. If you have the 64-bit version of X6 installed, it is preferable that you run that one, as it will perform faster with larger resolution files. Make sure that either the Manage or the Edit workspace is active. Next, from the File menu, select HDR, and then Exposure Merge. This will launch the PaintShop Merge application. If this is the first time you've used HDR Merge, the Getting Started window will pop up and provide a brief overview of how to use this feature. If the Merge application has loaded photos that you don't want to use, you can always remove them from the tray by selecting them and then clicking on the minus sign. To add photos, click on the plus sign and then browse to a folder containing your images. To import multiple photos at once, hold the control key down on the keyboard while selecting the images, and then click Open. The image thumbnails will appear at the bottom of the screen in the tray. Next, highlight all the photos by clicking each one while holding down the control key on the keyboard, and then select the alignment option. Even if a tripod was used, sometimes the slightest movement is noticeable when combining multiple shots. In this example, I'll select Feature Based. This way, PaintShop Pro will look at a lot of the main components of each photo and get an idea of how to line them up. Select Auto Crop and the software will automatically clean up the edges after aligning the subjects of the photo. Next, click on the Align button. And now all the images will match. To begin the merge, click the Process button in the bottom left corner of your screen. When the processing is complete, the HDR adjustment window will pop up and display a large version of the merged photo on the right and thumbnails of various presets on the left. The presets will let you give your image an artistic touch. In this example, I'll select the default number 1. Scroll down through the list of adjustments to make changes to other aspects of the preset, such as temperature, contrast, and shadows. Next, click the Process button to complete the merge. Now a large list of options will appear for you to continue editing the HDR photo. You can make further adjustments to the brightness and shadows in this window as well. In this example, I'll also apply digital noise removal to smooth out the sky area. This is often needed for photos that were taken at night with high ISO. When you're satisfied with the results here, click Save and Close to save your project. To fine-tune the image further, open the newly created HDR file in PaintShop Pro. Now you'll be able to use a wide variety of tools to perfect the photo. In this example, I'll align the image a little by using the Straighten tool, Next, I'll smooth out the sky a bit more with the smudge brush, and then crop the photo. Lastly, to create some additional contrast, I will create a copy of this layer by selecting Layers, and then Duplicate. I'll set the Blend Mode to Soft Light and lower the transparency until I've achieved the desired result. Next, I'll right-click on the layer in the Layers palette and select Merge All and then Flatten. This will combine both layers into one. Thank you for watching this video on HDR Exposure Merge in Corel PaintShop Pro.